Hello everyone, Speed Demon here, and we are back with part four of our Let's Learn Civilization VI Korea run. So, in today's episode, we're going to do a few things here. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this whole farm set up going here so we can kind of build some proper tempo in these cities. Uh, this is going over to there. First things first is we are going to consider setting up a couple of cities here. One city is going to go here. One city is going to go right about, let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we can go there. It'll be a small city and it's gonna it's gonna be very slow growing, but can be helpful there. Um, having a couple more cities that'll that'll eventually cause that to flip as we develop more citizen pressure. So if we go to loyalty, it's uh, the eight key. You can see we are applying a good bit of loyalty. And, but the thing is here is that it has just an, probably likely just enough loyalty or positive loyalty per turn to outweigh the negative loyalty pressure here. So that's no problem, but in order to counteract some of that movement, what we are going to want to consider doing is let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and get the settler down. So if we go here. And we go uh, back to here. We pick up two settlers, put this in the back. Forbidden City is not really much of a viable option right now. It's just too, it's going to take too long. I want this to be a few turns faster though. This needs to be, I need to be able to have the pacing in that city there too. So I'm um, going to go ahead and do that so I can save some turns. May not be many, but it's enough to provide us some benefit. Do this for one more turn. Okay. Strategy required. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you down a little bit more south. You will go ahead and get started on the settler. You need to get those settlers ready and just try to pump out a couple of them. Um, you go out here, you go here, pick up the luxury tile, and then We'll pick that up just so we have another, um, okay, he doesn't have gold, no, you do. Uh, you do not, actually. Is it the same value? It is. Okay. There we go. Give us a little bit of gold per turn, that way we can kind of, uh, have a net benefit of eight gold per turn, and we are increasing our science output by just a little bit here. A little bit of science output does help. Um, Anshan is a very, very helpful um, specific city-state for us to have. In this case, that's why we want to make sure we have it and keep it, because this is very helpful and beneficial for us, for us to aid our culture. Uh, because as we focus on getting you know theater squares down, uh, the more theater squares we get down, will be aided very heavily and very specifically by us adding that. So let's allow us to do that. That's a key focal point here. Go ahead and get this guy down here. It's gonna be a plus three, so that's six. And that's gonna go to Gongzhu, so our capital. That's gonna provide us with a little bit of growth per turn. That's gonna help us a lot. That's what we need right now, is just gonna help us get that growth tempo that we we're looking for. Um, we don't have access to very many forms of uh, production, so that that's not fun. Uh, you you can deal with that. Your knight can deal with all of this. That's gonna yeah. 
I'm going to have to get him out of there and just try to just, you know, just wrap him around this area and try to go from there. So because she's at work, she wants to, she's going to want to start moving her units over. But these units are just going to totally just basically stop her in her tracks. You know, she can't do very much. Uh, trade routes sent to the chosen player, provide poor gold to the sender. We'll do to me. Uh, more trade route capacity, the better, because as I develop more cities, we can go ahead and give ourselves some tempo. Duplicates of the chosen resource grant amenities. I only have one of each, so it's not really a very uh, heavy amount. Um, so we'll pick up turtles. Not really a big deal. And citrus does not count, and that first one worked. Perfect. Go ahead and pick up this. That's going to provide us with a nice hefty bonus of uh, food per turn. Three more food per turn is what it says. Of course, it's probably it was probably, I think, a 2-1 tile before, but 4-1 tile is still very good. Even if it was a 1-1, a 1-1 going to a 4-1 is now immediately, like, legitimately, legitimately viable. Um, we do have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can get eight or eighth and ninth city going. Um, then we convert this city to ours. We put a sale on there. This city can put a sale on in one of two places. This city puts a sale on there. We put down a series of farms around here and try to fill in as many farms. And that'll help our city kind of pick up that growth that we need. Um, we could potentially keep that tile and just put a sale in there. Then put, you know, a mine here. Um, we can put, you know, a couple of uh, couple farms around here. So really, it's going to be up to us to pick up that science tempo the way we want to. We want to have control of this so we can really have the necessary science tempo and growth tempo that we're looking for. Um, he's willing to give us niter, but the thing is, is that I don't have a need for niter. It's not really a concern for me at all. Um, I could actually likely get a better deal by selling gold the gold. Uh, medieval fairs. That's okay. That and gold from our city states. See, that can provide us with a nice little chunk of change. So, to confirm what we have, that's 10, that's 17. So, that's a 17 gold per turn boost. That's a pretty substantial amount of gold that we wouldn't have had before. So we can go ahead and pick that up. That's going to provide us a very nice benefit. And then what we can do is consider our position here. Simple prestige is not bad. We're going to want to go ahead and just take this off for now. And then make a dedicated focus on really picking up that extra, um, extra few turns of tempo towards this. So see now that's down to seven turns. We'll pick that up. That'll be a little bit more food. Cahokia mounds are nice, don't get me wrong, but I'm not really in a situation where I need that. We do have a governor title available, so what we can do is we can go ahead and put that into, say, culture output in this city, and that'll bring us to around 49 culture per turn. That'll help us a little bit just to save a couple turns, you know, potentially on what we're looking for. We're going to go to enlightenment. The reason for that is rationalism, extra science for buildings and campuses, plus 50 if the city pop is 15 or higher, plus 50 if the district has at least four adjacency bonus. We have that. So if we go to our city here, our cities, press the nine key, we'll see I have one, two, three, four cities that have that necessary bonus there. And that's going to be really powerful for us. Um, we don't have access to hills that we could use, unfortunately, because this tile here is occupied. It's just not a, no, it's not a big deal. Um, and I could put a sale in there, but that's going to be a plus three instead. So I would rather build theater square, get some other things in the city as a means to help our other forms of growth. Because we don't want to be too lacking in culture and, and also gold output. Because, yes, we could specialize, and as we are specializing our units now back to science instead of uh, religion, that is the case here, yes. You know, however, um, 
by virtue of over focusing on culture and or not culture but uh religion in the early game that actually created kind of an unsustainable situation where we were not going to be able to kind of hold a lot of that growth that we would have wanted here um we can actually move this here and then put the sale in there so let's go ahead do that it's going to be a later generation offshoot city um which eventually may actually potentially put some potential uh loyal i keep saying potential but that is the case you know we have no idea if it's going to apply enough loyalty pressure for this city to actually uh to get you know converted if it did however that'd be excellent only thing is is that um i don't know what would happen to this if this would just disappear if it did then we would just put it down here you know we would just put it down there we get plus four so not really entirely sure to be honest what you are going to do is put that down now we have a substantial farm set up here our farms now are going to be producing significant food tempo you know seven food so this is good and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see you know we can keep this and put down a lumber mill it's not the end of the world having you know a hex here for complete like a you know complete one two three four five six farms but it would also be better for us to have a little bit of production in the city as well. Uh, that part of it does not hurt. So we are going to keep our keep our focus on Patala Palace. Not worried about the faith increase here, but really even the culture. It's really about the diplomatic policy slot that is going to allow us to have some more options to work with and do more with it. So this is going to be tricky because he's going to kite over here and we have to be careful. So if we can survive the first attack, um, we could potentially get away. Good. And how much health do we have? Okay, we're going to try to bug out. You know, hopefully... They don't overfocus us. It's a chance they may not. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the library here, get that going, so that way we can get ourselves a nice little chunk of gold or not gold, but um, science per turn, and then we can consider buying, you know, a uh, university. So let's go ahead and do that. That's eight science. That's gonna get us a good little bit of science tempo. That's what we're looking for. So in our position here. We do want to make sure we pick up industrialization. Um, that's going to provide us a really nice amount of general tempo for our just general needs and also just getting things faster. You know, one singular. Oh, he's still alive, but he's super low. This sucks. Uh, he's going to die. That's annoying. I've tried to make a good effort to avoid that, but there's just... Brazil has done nothing about any of this stuff. Yeah, so GG to that unit. That sucks. And buy that unit. Rip, rip scout. There is little man has Beginning of time to 880 AD. And eventually we can put down in another another industrial zone here and that industrial zone will also be pretty powerful um don't really care about repairing this yes faith output is nice but not really a concern or in any, any way like a real priority um if we put an aqueduct here and then yeah, so if you put an aqueduct there, in this position here, and then put down the industrial zone, that industrial zone is going to get some seriously nice bonuses. Uh, those production bonuses are really going to help. So we can consider doing that. We don't have to do that right away. So that's not a priority. It would actually be better for us to get that once we have the industrial zone down, and then we have a need for additional adjacency bonuses. Right now, it is not a major concern. 
So we don't need to worry ourselves about that. Again, sucks that we lost that unit. You know, Rip Scout, beginning of time, 880 AD. But it's life. Or in this case, that's, you know, death. But I digress. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and get this settler finished out. And we can, we can get um, another settler and we can start focusing it on this city. I would rather not. And the reason is, is because I would rather put myself in a better position. So that way, also, I need to see. Um, yeah, some of these tiles are getting boosted by that. So that's nice that it's coming through because it's kind of pre-boosting some of those tiles around here. Um, and never a bad thing, you know additional yields and tiles that I'll eventually be focusing on can help us a lot. Um, Brazil is in a dark age, so um, we are 13 turns away from getting into another dark age, Every man should unfortunately. Make his son some useful trade it's been a little profession. difficult for us to so be able to come back from that, it's just there's not very much we can do. Something um, back upon. We do not have... A substantial amount of um also i'm gonna have to work on getting that fixed okay i do have that governor title another one so what we'll do is we always pick up a money we want to get some uh city-state pressure here Yes, this could be, you know, a potential play for us. You know, a little bit of science doesn't hurt if we play that smart, but I'm not really concerned about putting a lot of things into that. So it's not a major, uh, it's not a major priority, nor will it become one. So in that case, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and consider who we want to pick up. Um, having... Liang wouldn't hurt because having builders, having a city just produce a few builders with four charges would be very helpful. Um, we'll consider doing that at a later point. We will want to do is either pick up researcher or grants. So we'll need to consider where we have an eminent amount of people per turn. So this isn't going to really happen. Um, this is good, but we're only going to be getting like slim pickings off of the other AI that happens to do this. Um, this isn't going to happen. A lot of these other ones aren't likely going to happen. So basically right now, uh, for us in this state here, within this city, uh, we would get... So we get a little bit more great people points from that. A little more from that. Once this is finally put down, a little bit more from that. So we have a set one, data square, and a holy site. See, if we didn't make that holy site in the early game, that would have changed the tempo for us a lot, and we'd have a little bit more to work with. Unfortunately, that is the thing, is when you make a pivot like that, um, you do lose out on a lot of potential progress, so that's the nature of it. We're going to go ahead and pick that up, so that way we can get that 130 science per turn. It'll just help us a little bit to get to where we want to be um, because once we have access to industrialization, then we can really pick up our game properly. Um, in the meantime, we are going to go ahead and let's see here. Are there any military policy slots that we can use that'll actually be semi-decent for us? Um, not that many. You know, probably picking up a naval unit wouldn't hurt. Um, it would be ideal for us to be able to kind of get a unit around and just kind of start exploring the map. We are going to want to, wait, that city is, okay, so that city is being uh, taken over. Yeah, so we're just going to have to deal with another, um, someone else built Patala Palace, that's annoying. What do I even... Man, that's annoying. Okay, well, that's out of the way. So at least I don't need to worry about having the Wonder card anymore. Um, I 
Let's take you immediately up here. Start applying immediate pressure to that city. We'll set up here or we'll actually go a little further back so we can actually make use of those tiles. We'll go ahead and do that instead. So we'll just take them over here and then we'll just have them move a little bit more. So that's fine. A little frustrating to lose that. Um, this is not relevant for us, so we don't need that. We can actually just go ahead and pick up a settler. Might as well recover a little bit of pace out of it. You know, I can live without having the, uh, I can live with losing a population here. Since we're losing a wonder that we were working on and a very important wonder, uh, might I add, we can just utilize this as an opportunity to, to kind of bring our growth back. So that's okay. We could also put down another mine here and that'll give us a little bit more science output as well. So <laughs> it's a loss in the short term, but it actually could potentially be a gain if we recover it well. Um, because we're going to get a settler that's going to apply a pretty substantial amount of uh, production. We may have a little bit of overflow production here from this, so it does not hurt. We did put a lot of time into that, so we're going to have to try to get diplomatic service and what see what we can do to pick that up packaged. earlier. Okay, so we did get that, and we'll go ahead and see here. We'll build that now. At least we'll have it there so we can lock in the price of building. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and focus on a trader. Same thing with this guy. We're going to bring him up and get this guy over here. That way we can take this city over. The earlier we take it, the earlier we can establish more science tempo and the earlier we can get in, in, get in control of that aspect of our growth. Yes, we're going to get another Dark Age. That's okay. We're just going to have to deal with that next dark age. You know, we're in the Renaissance era. That's going to go into the uh, industrial era. And so in that case, what we'll have to do is we'll just have to kind of deal with that, suck it up, and then focus on getting a really good, strong, modern era. Um, in that case, what we do is we set up a position for that. And you, let's actually take you to here. So it's going to take another turn, but that's okay. So we've got two settlers here, so this is actually recoverable. This is totally recoverable in that situation. So not the end of the world. It could be, it could be better, it could be worse. In the meantime, what we are going to do is let's go ahead and pick up a little bit faster. Let's see here. If that's 14, it's 13. So let's get our let's let's get ourselves a little bit more um, just general growth here. And then here we got our library. Got our library. That's perfect. Um, we can consider a couple options here. We can go ahead. And we don't. We do not want anything in this area here. We fortunately had to put that down, um, which you know is what it is. But in this case, it's much better that we do not place anything in that position there. Uh, we do have it in the industrial zone being worked on. That's right here. That'll actually be pretty good because then we can put down, you know, um, well, we kind of have to put an aqueduct nearby, unfortunately, and it doesn't give us many options. So if you put that there, that's good, but that's going to lose more science anyways. So we don't want to do that at the moment. Um, lumber mill would not hurt. We also want to find a way to boost up our amenities. So, you know, the tricky thing is no one's got amenities um, and that puts us in a bit of a it's a little bit of a pickle um, we're okay where we are right now but we do want to get amenities sooner than later okay so I'll actually go to Simon Bolivar get seven if I see him picking up another one I immediately will buy that because then we can just lay off some of that that, that pressure. Um, this city, let's see here. So 
there are a few things we could do. We could probably, we can go ahead and finish off that, um, Did we get that done? We did get that done. Okay, so, you know, an arena is not bad. Um, that would help that city. Really, in general, all of, all of our cities are going to really need that additional growth. So uh, it'll help us a lot to have some of those things kind of taken care of and sorted out. Um, if we put down something here, we have a couple options. So. I have to I have to think for a moment here because if we that Chichen Itza is not going to be good um a builder would be good to get this repaired eventually and then a lot of these tiles also have like really good value though I mean so if I were to pick up a couple more tiles it wouldn't hurt um we can you know get something going here in this case so it wouldn't hurt to put down another mine. You know, we have a little bit of culture and food, so that's fine. Um, what we want to prioritize instead, though, is that is a more pertinent priority. Is um, uh, that's not really going to do anything. We are seven turns away from industrialization. Um, we did get our industrial zone done. Uh, no, our library done. Sorry. Uh, and then which city was it? So it was this city that we have an industrial zone that's right here. And then once we have the availability to make another industrial zone, that's going to be key. So we have a few of these guys going, we get enough great engineer points. That's going to also feed our game. And the reason for that is we go to our civics cards here. We're going to eventually get humanism. And if we pick up the invention wildcard policy slot, four engineer points per turn and plus two points per turn for every workshop so we are eventually going to have three industrial zones eventually a fourth one in the north so that's plus four plus plus eight so that's plus 12 engineer points per turn on top of the turn you know the engineer points you get from the actual district itself and its buildings so it's a position that we can make pretty favorable for us these guys just keep working your way up this is fairly protected. Um, she's already trying to work on getting a city here, so I need to eventually just get these guys sooner than later up here. Settle forward here first. So actually, let's settle here first, and let's settle you there. You're both going to get there around the same time, but um, I can save a couple turns of development here by getting them there. So she has a warrior here that she's going to be using. So we want to use a unit that we can display some dominance in the area. So we will want to consider going ahead and just getting a horseman down. It's going to cost us a good bit of gold, yes. But if we can get that there before and then have that ready, we can attack that unit and then apply some pressure there. So that's okay. Um, this guy, let's go ahead and just add a, you know, since we eventually will need the growth, Let's focus on something that's going to give us something like amenities. Um, amenities are going to help us a lot here. So let's go ahead and just make a, a dedicated focus more towards that. Um, if I built, man, if I built the saloon there, that would have been a much better place, but that's okay. In this case, that's a, what is that, Guangzhou? Okay, so this one actually is fine. It's just that one. So let's see, a water mill would probably be better. The earlier we get this guy out there, we can also protect. Good. So she's settling east. She's probably trying to fill in another area here, which is pretty low value, considering these cities here that she's focusing on are going to be very slow to grow. Wow, so that unit's getting hit hard, so if they don't escape, uh, it's a good chance that the city-state may actually yoink that tile, or yoink that settler. I didn't mean to click that. Um, I may actually go ahead and just reload the save. That was 100% not what I was trying to do. The reason I mentioned that, and I'll just make a, uh, a small cut here if I can, but what, yeah, sorry about that. 
It's a bit of a mistake. You I'll have to recover that mistake and I'll just make some adjustments there. To flowers I misclick the there and realize it's like, I'm about to hit that dude, aren't I? Yep, I hit that dude. I'm like, okay. So, I apologize about that mistake. Um, you will recover that. Okay. So you will go here, you will go there, you will go that way instead, that works better. He's going to likely get hit, then I can bug him out on the east, that's okay. I have a water mill, okay, we're good, we're good. So totally recoverable, no problem. Okay. It's gonna get hit pretty hard there, that's okay. Gentle eruption, that's enough of a gentle eruption to destroy our stuff though, that's not really gentle. We'll cancel that movement. You have access to more envoys, so not really a concern right now. Um, Losing that's not good. So what we'll do in the meantime is we're going to go ahead and just pick up another builder. Just do some repairs around here. Like that's a very, very nice tile we want to get fixed up. Just too much production for that tile to not be used. And then once we have that last settler, we can put that settler somewhere down in the area that we want. So that's okay. Okay, so good positioning here. I have to be kind of careful here. I'm going to actually go the long way. Um, I want to avoid getting too close to this guy here. You, let's go ahead and just fortify and heal up. And let's have you go here first and repair that. It's going to be more of a priority for us. We are getting a trader soon, so that's good. Once we have that available, we'll go ahead and get the trader set up in this city and then send him down. Her army here is going to be a lot weaker as she does have uh, medieval walls versus units that are significantly way ahead of that. That's, uh, this dude is, uh, doing some incredible footwork. Oh, now, now he's doing it. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Times have changed. In diplomacy, there are two. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on to this. And I bring you over here. It's going to have a little production because of the hills tiles. That's perfect. That'll be one food, two production. Um, let's see if we settle there. It's going to be the best place for us. I feel like that guy's still there. So I'm, I'm just going to go the long ways. Just have a gut feeling that it's not a good idea to go ahead and just plop that guy somewhere like that because it's just going to get him killed. Or in this case, just get my settler taken. Let's go ahead and take this off since that's going to be completely useless now. I'm going to go ahead and take the production in all cities card. That way we can get some, we can recover a little bit of pace. Um, this wouldn't hurt, so that's not a bad option here. We have most of our settlers down that we want, so we can go ahead and take that off, put that on. That'll help, that'll significantly help our culture return get us right on target with where we want to be, and also give us some good science per turn. So, everyone, I think this is a really good stopping point for now. Um, 
Thank you all for your time. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily content. I'll keep the momentum going. All right, you all have a good one. Speed Demon out.